Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. Centre allocates additional 1,6300 vials of amphotericin P to states, union territories and central institutions. National Commission for Protection of Child Rights asks social media platforms to share information about giving children for adoption often during the pandemic. Nagaland Health Department asks all healthcare workers to sincerely discharge their responsibilities. And Mon District Task Force introduces free video consultation facility for COVID-19 patients through DocOn app. As many states are relaxing lockdown norms, we advise our listeners not to lower the guard as the COVID-19 pandemic remains a threat to our health. Please stay at home unless it is essential to go out and continue to follow the four simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain six feet for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene and get vaccinated. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011-2397-8046 and 1075 and State Helpline numbers 700-55-39653 and 1-800-345-0019. And now the news in today. Union Minister for Chemicals and Fertilizers T.V. Satananda Gaura said that to ensure significant availability of liposomal amphotericin B, additional 1,6300 vials of the drug have been allocated across all the states, union territories and central institutions today. The minister further said that a total of 53,000 vials of conventional amphotericin B have also been allocated to the states, union territories and central institutions. The allocation of conventional amphotericin B is being made to ensure its smooth supply and timely treatment of patients. National Commission for Protection of Child Rights, NCPCR, has asked social media platforms to share information about social media posts being published for direct adoption of children often during COVID-19 pandemic. In a letter written to the Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp and Telegram, the Commission has asked social media platforms that information about such posts must be reported to law enforcement authorities and the Commission. Social media platforms have been asked to provide details of internet protocol address, origin of the post and other such relevant details. The Commission has said that the compliance or action taken report must be sent to the Commission within 10 days. The NCPCR has said that any such adoption which happens without following procedures of the Juvenile Justice Act are illegal and in violation of the law. Nagaland Health Department has asked all healthcare workers to sincerely and effectively discharge their job functions and responsibilities in view of the surge in COVID-19 cases and for effective management of the pandemic. Principal Director Health and Family Welfare, Dr. Nikrelia Kimiao, in a circular said they should report timely requirement of essential medicines and other logistics to prevent stock out and ensure uninterrupted supply. No healthcare worker should leave the station without permission from the Principal Director of the Health Department. However, leave is permissible on health ground, duly recommended by the Medical Board. In addition, all healthcare workers are directed to report all cases of influenza-like illness, severe acute respiratory illness or any clustering of cases or unusual events. It further informed that any non-compliance of the directives will be dealt with disciplinary actions. All healthcare workers under various health units are also directed to report to the respective controlling officers as per provisions of the Epidemic Act 1987 and Amendment 2020 in case of any instances by any person which include obstruction or hindrance in discharge of duties within the premises of the healthcare centres or otherwise, harassment impacting the living or working conditions, harm, injury or danger to life and loss or damage to any property to documents in their custody. Mon District Task Force has introduced free video consultation facility for COVID-19 patients from across the district with doctors from District Hospital Mon through DocOn app. The app offers patients free video consultation appointment with doctors. 
It also enables patients to consult with a doctor remotely from anywhere. Ten doctors are available from District Hospital Mon for consultation on the app. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on our YouTube channel, AIR News Kohima. The All India Institute of Medical Sciences aims in Delhi will start recruitment for Covaxin clinical trials tomorrow onwards for children who are in the age group of 6 to 12 years. Clinical trials of children of 2 to 6 age group will start after that. The trial on children has already started at Ames Partner to see if the parrot biotech jab is suitable for children. Participants would be given the vaccine after their screening report comes. A national expert group has been formed to review COVID-19 infections in children and approach the pandemic in a renewed way to strengthen the nation's preparedness. A Pune-based startup firm has come up with 3D printed masks coated with antiviral agents. The firm DHINCR Technologies India Private Limited said the mask is more effective than N95, 3-ply and cloth masks. An integration of 3D printing and pharmaceuticals has resulted in a novel type of mask which attacks the virus when viral particles come in contact with it. The masks are coated with antiviral agents known otherwise as virocytes. The Virocytal Mask Project is among the earliest projects to have been selected for commercialization by Technology Development Board as statutory body of the Department of Science and Technology. Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO Chairman Dr C. Sadish Reddy said a total of 850 oxygen plants are being set up in various districts of the country from PM Cares Fund to fight the COVID pandemic. Dr Reddy highlighted this at the Department of Science and Technology, Azadiga Amrit Mahotsav, the school series. He added that DRDO was prepared to provide all kinds of support when the need arises and more flying hospitals would be ready as was provided by DRDO in the second wave of COVID-19 to help the people. He said flying hospitals have been made in a way that a virus does not go out of the hospitals and if there is any third wave, all the hospitals will be taking the load. Dr. Reddy also underlined how DRDO is primarily carrying out research in advanced technology in defence. Gifre District Task Force held a meeting today to review the progress of COVID vaccination drive in the district. Addressing the meeting, MLA T. Yangsio Sangdam appreciated frontline workers, administration, police, medical department and civil society organisations working round the clock in the fight against COVID-19 since the outbreak of the pandemic. Asserting the importance of vaccination, Sangdam appealed to the people not to be swayed away by baseless rumours and encouraged them to come forward and take the vaccine for the safety of oneself, family, friends and society. He called upon the church and community leaders to educate and spread awareness about the importance of taking vaccine. Sangdam also donated N95 masks, PPEs and medicines to DTF and provided 500 bags of rice to daily wage labourers to 11 wards in Gifre town. ADC Gifre Rahul Mali said that so far 400 people have taken the vaccine in Gifre town, whereas only 60 people from 105 villages has taken the vaccine in rural areas from the district. Therefore, he called upon the people of the district to come forward and avail the vaccine. Kohima District Disaster Management Authority today started the distribution of relief packages to daily wage earners, labourers and needy people of Kohima. Distribution of relief materials for other subdivisions will start tomorrow. And now to end the news, here are the main points again. Sender allocates additional 1,6300 vials of amphoderesin B to states, union territories and central institutions. National Commission for Protection of Child Rights asks social media platforms to share information about giving children for adoption orphaned during the pandemic. Nagaland Health Department asks all health workers to sincerely discharge their responsibilities. 
and Mon District Task Force introduces a free video consultation facility for COVID-19 patients through Doc On app. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.